good. Cindy, happy Tuesday. So good to see you. How are you doing on this lovely Tuesday? Good morning, everybody. Give me a little text. Tell me what you uh, had for breakfast today. You guys excited? Is everybody doing good? You get your swim in? Get your exercise in? I can't stop thinking about that kayaking. That was so much fun. Yeah, of course you just got out of the pool because you're awesome. Oh, where is my smoothie? Hold on, let me get it over here. Here we go, here we go. There's smoothie cheers before we get this going. Oh, I hope I didn't get that on me. Smoothie cheers, everybody. Look at this. Oh, oh my. Gosh, I just splashed it all over me. That's okay. Powered up with a smoothie. My smoothie's over here. I can't wait to show you what I got down here. Look at this grocery haul. This, okay, hold on a second. And let's not forget to, I didn't even, I didn't even know what the, the balance was. Ooh, this is, a, this is a big one. This is a big one uh, because I started off with, how's everybody doing today? Well, it's 10.01, I better get this party started. How did I lose 100 pounds? Reverse a slew of chronic diseases and now I teach people how to prevent and reverse disease, lose weight, feel great. It's from what I brought home from the grocery store and I can't wait to share with you today, you guys, another low fat, high fiber, whole food plant-based grocery haul. Um, we've got the poo paper. You guys, happy Tuesday. I'm Stephanie Ignafo, CEO and founder of Plantspiration, lifestyle medicine coach, plant interventionist. And like I said, I teach people how to get this down through a lifestyle medicine approach. Food though is uh, where it begins. I'm gonna start off this grocery haul with keeping it real. Like I said, we've got a lot of poo paper over here because we're eating a lot of fiber. Let me tell you what, everybody's lacking in fiber. There isn't enough fiber going on out there. Everybody's worried about protein, but we really should be worried about fiber. I'm excited for this week's class. So I'll be talking about some of the recipes that are in this week's class. We're going to be focusing on menopause, um, all kinds of stuff on menopause. I'm 53 my, myself. Um, I'm in menopause. I can definitely improve it. I can definitely make things worse if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing. And I'm going to talk more about that on Wednesday night. But tonight... Uh, today, this afternoon, happy Tuesday, let's get to it. We're gonna be making a green goddess uh, dressing tomorrow night, olive oil salad, brownie batter hummus and potato crisp, sweet potato crisp on top of the salad. So I've got this really beautiful box of greens right here. Everybody has greens or should have greens and I'm gonna tell you what to do with these things. Okay, let's start off with the greens. I also got a pineapple just cause they look so nice. They were on sale. Let's talk about fruit, eating all you want of it. Uh, more sweet potatoes. I'm going to be doing the sweet potato crisps in tomorrow night's class. I'm also going to be eating sweet potatoes and I love them quite honestly, just microwaved and put right into a bowl with a bunch of broccoli or greens on the side. I do like that 50-50, but I also do like lasagna and I like tacos and I like the burgers that I make. Um, let me show you what else I like. I like potatoes. Actually, I love potatoes. I love a lot. Um, these babies, we go through easily one to two bags a week, John and I. We put them in the microwave. We season them up with California balsamics, hummus, beans, greens. Just we keep it nice and easy without the disease -y. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad that you guys are here. What else do I have on this grocery haul that prevents and reverses disease and teaches people how to lose weight? Right here, more sourdough bread. I don't eat bread all the time, like I said, but I do keep it in the house. Cauliflower, they even brought this cauliflower to me at my store. They were like, Stephanie, look at this big cauliflower. I said, I'll take it. Um, I'm gonna, I'm most likely I'm just gonna go ahead and steam this. Um, I'm gonna eat one raw, probably. I'll take it on my bike. I like to keep things really simple and easy, but of course you can make buffalo cauliflower wings, you can make cabbage steaks, you could make, I mean, so many things with these things right here. You could steam these up and put buffalo sauce on them just plain and skip the whole, you know, going through it. But the whole deal is, the secret sauce, you guys, is keeping things low fat, keeping things high fiber, and keeping things nice and easy. What else do we have here that I'm keeping easy? 
apples. I mean, seriously, just put a date with it and you've got a caramel apple. Why would we do anything else, okay? Why would we do anything else and have some plant warfare to prevent and reverse disease? They're not teaching this to doctors, you guys. They're not teaching it to dietitians. They're not teaching it to nurses, unfortunately, but we are teaching it here. And what else do we have? I'm teaching you guys how simple it is to just grab some oranges and use these as your snack. We, um, marketing told us that we needed salty, crunchy stuff. Marketing did that to you. But guess what I'm doing to you? I'm teaching you guys that it's right here. This is it. You want to feel good, have a ton of energy, lose weight, feel great, quit dieting, start thriving, start bringing home stuff like this. Oh, what is this? People like to ask me. This is, what, this is a reminder of what I don't eat. I don't eat a lot of fat. I keep things low fat. This is five pounds of fat, and I lost a lot of these, 20 of these. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, and if I counted all the fat that Plantspiration people have lost, I would need a whole ton truck. We've got some purple cabbage. You know what's coming, you guys. More of our big, giant, raw pad, uh, raw tie bowls we make over here. Uh, more oranges, more snacks. You know what I love about these, guys? This, look at this. It's like, it was meant to eat. It was meant to eat. Okay, hold on. I've got something in here. These have been so beautiful lately. Mangoes, don't forget. Ew, what is that? That's a kale chunk. Um, mangoes, when they're red, that just means that the sun hit them. That doesn't necessarily mean they're the best tasting or the ripest. So you got to give these suckers a squeeze. You've got to take a look at them, smell them. Good morning. It's so good to see everybody here. What else do we have? Well, in tomorrow, in tomorrow night's class, we're going to be talking about menopause. Huh? Why do you guys think I buy so much soy for goodness sakes? The isoflavins in soy have been shown to reduce hot flashes. I'm gonna talk more about that on Wednesday night, but this is easy to make. We just make it in the air fryer. You don't even need to cook this stuff. You could actually make a tofu scramble with it. You could chop it up and cube it and put it in a salad. People are making betta feta um, cheeses with this kind of stuff. You can pretty much make anything you want, by the way, with all the groceries I bring home week after week after week. You're seeing what I'm bringing. Um, we're making thousands of different recipes only on Wednesday nights. So the rest of the week, I'm keeping everything nice and simple. So what else do we have? Hey, kitty cat. He knows I don't eat him either. Right here, more snacks, you guys, more snacks, phytonutrients, anthocyanins, vitamins, minerals. And, I mean, But you know what's more powerful? Broccoli. I told uh, Larry today at Myers that if he chops this up 45 minutes before he eats it, he'll release the sulforaphane and bring on to connect, better not disconnect. Uh, more broccoli. Uh, broccoli is for winners. I'm gonna keep on saying that. Or cauliflower or cruciferous vegetables. I love eating the broccoli lately. I'm on the sesame salt. I steam it. I throw sesame salt. I eat about a head of broccoli a day, a day. I'm gonna make some tonight. Um, it's just part of my, my lifestyle because I like to feel good. You know what else feels good? Eating food like this. We got cabbage coming in hot. Uh, more cancer fighting, fat burning, appetite taming, nutrient density, beautiful food. Sure, I can turn this into tacos, but I don't need to. I can also eat it just like this. All right, more broccoli. Ooh, I was on the talk of uh, Brussels sprouts yesterday. And let me tell you what, Brussels sprouts are highly nutritious. I I'm going to be doing a tutorial probably on how to make them so easy. I basically just use maple syrup and chili powder and I saute them, you guys. I saute them in maple syrup and chili powder and they're delicious. This, I didn't even know about Brussels sprouts 10 years ago. I didn't even know you could eat this stuff. Food is beautiful. Food is beautiful. <gasps> you guys, I have a high fat food right here. I have a high fat food. Who cares? We use it in ingredients, okay? Keep the nuts out of your hands and just put them in the ingredients. That's my tip to keep it low fat, high fiber. Hey, listen, the studies are out. They've been out. Dean Ornish is all over the place talking about this amazing lifestyle, a, me a lifestyle medicine approach, getting this low fat, high fiber food in, getting moving, having a support system, practicing stress management. Oh my goodness, you know what that sounds like? It sounds like Plantspiration. So let's talk more about the food on, uh, that I'll be teaching tomorrow night. We're gonna be making a salad dressing, you guys, low fat using these amazing beans. I love beans. People who eat the most beans live the longest. And you know what? My old life 11 years ago, this life right here, 
I don't think I ever ate beans unless I went to Taco Bell. And you know what happened after that? It wasn't good. It destroyed my whole body. Um, I'm not even going to get into all the chronic diseases I had because it's like bing, 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 a mile long. Um, and this right here, we were, we, it's like we were dying, you guys. This is just old news. Now we're doing this kind of stuff, like throwing sun-dried tomatoes on our salads. <gasps> The whole container of grits just took a shit. All right, it snowed in my bag, but you know what? That's okay. We've got some fresh basil. We're going to be putting that in a salad tomorrow night. Um, let me shake off the grits. We've got some soy milk because, of course, I want to keep my uh, hot flashes under control, fight cancer, feel great, and obviously stop contributing to the cruelty of animals. I'll throw that in there. Um, we've got a mess here, but that's okay. I have my triple berries, triple berries. That's what's in my smoothies every day. You could put this stuff in grits. You could put this stuff in your oatmeal. You could put this stuff in your own smoothie. Keep, yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's okay. Always keeping me on my toes. You know what I'm thinking right now? I'm going to burn a couple extra calories cleaning my butt off later because this stuff is all over the place. Um, we could just put grits and those fruits together and we've got a snack. Oh, it's on the floor now. Anyway, you guys, grits are really good for you, and I'm probably going to still use those right there. That's okay. You know what? That's, that's a perfect example. Shit happens. Stuff happens. Um, take it with a grain of grits. It, you know what I mean? Just keep on going. So we're going to do some bananas right here all day long. You guys are seeing me bring home pounds and pounds of bananas. I could easily eat a pack of bananas a day because if I hit the road, if I leave the house, not these green ones, um, but I do bring... I do bring a ton of bananas with me every single place I go. When in doubt, whip a banana out. These suckers are easy. They're delicious. They're high in fiber. They're nutritious. They have a ton of potassium. You guys right here, I'm going to say it again. Plant warfare. Why would we eat ourselves to death when we could eat to live? See what I mean? Magical. We have so much control over our health. We have so much control over what we put in our mouth. We have so much control of what we allow into our head. Um, and we have so much control over the things that we're talking to ourselves. And you guys are all amazing. And I'm so glad that you're here making this commitment to your health and learning how to get this down. There's so much information out there. And at Plantspiration, we keep it nice. We keep it easy. We keep it realistic. We keep it sustainable. And most of all, we keep it affordable. And it's awesome, by the way. So, yeah, get in here. What else do we have? We're not done. This is a lot of food. So you guys better be uh, checking out this grocery bill. What do you think it's going to be? We've got some cantaloupes here. I love this kind of stuff. Now listen to me, this is a little tip. If you cut this cantaloupe in half, take the seeds out of it, toss a little bit of oats in it with some ginger, I think. It tastes like Lucky Charms. It does. Try it out. You have nothing to lose but some chronic disease and a little bit of weight, okay? Uh, here we go, more broccoli. This stuff was fresh out of the truck, so I bought a bunch of those. Oh, baby, baby. Cherries. Look at these babies. These things are so nutritious, high in vitamins, minerals, antioxidants. Hey, listen, stop measuring your fruit out, by the way, and just start eating it. Unlimited amounts of fruits and vegetables. I want everybody to eat more fruits and vegetables. That's my tip here today. Eat more fruits and vegetables. I want you to pass anything that's in a package. Do you see anything in a package? Not really. I mean, packages of hold my, I don't know why they have to cover everything, but oh, that's such a good cast. You're so close. We have more cherries, okay? They're on fire right now. Don't fall off. We have more grapes. They're going to be going into my uh, recipe tomorrow night. And you know where else they're going to be going? <laughs> In my belly because I eat them every day. We have more anthocyanins. These are the foods right here, by the way. These are the foods, by the way, that turn up your mitochondria. This is how we burn fat with high fiber foods like that. It's that simple. It really is. I just need you to eat more of these. Blueberries, strawberries, fruits, vegetables. Get your grains in, your whole grains, quinoa, brown rice. Um, the most intact grains are the most powerful. Pa-pow! Speaking of powerful, we got more um, resveratrol. People are drinking wine and stuff, but let me tell you what. I quit drinking 11 years ago, same day that I quit eating animal. Um, it saved my life. And the more that I teach and learn about nutrition, uh, the more I'm going to just get straight with you. Alcohol is a carcinogen. If you're looking to reduce your risk of cancer, I'm going to be straight with you. 
get the alcohol out. Uh, Dr. Christy Funk will be talking more about that at the conference of the International Conference of Nutrition and Medicine, where I learn how to teach people how to prevent and reverse disease. It's amazing what food can do, and it's amazing what they're not teaching you. But uh, that's what we're teaching people at Plantspiration, how to look for olives that aren't soaked in olive oil, which is highly, highly caloric fat intake. And you guys, of course, you know that's not all. I have in here some beautiful parsley we'll be putting on our food and the kale right here that I'm not going to get all wet over, but I've got... I'm talking about on my shirt because last week I spilled kale all over. Um, and in here also, we have some cucumbers. You have giddy up, get in there. And we have another cucumber in here. I want you guys to just start eating all the cucumber. If you're cutting half a cucumber, my uh, tip to you is just eat the whole cucumber. I mean, why are we cutting this banana in half or these cherries in half or this broccoli in half? The goal is to get more in. So please eat the whole thing. Eat your plants off. Go 100%. Stop bringing it home. Stop thinking about what you're giving up and start thinking about what you're gaining because I'll tell you right here, back here I was like, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to give up drinking and smoking and you can, you can do this. You can do this. Stay focused on what you want. Don't stay focused on what you're giving up. Stop searching for the recipe or for the secret sauce because it's right here. The next time that you open your mouth, make sure something good is coming out of it and make sure something good is going in it. Okay, you guys, low fat, high fiber, whole food, plant-based and eat a lot of it. That's one of the biggest obstacles I have over here at Plantspiration and everybody that I work with. Um, people aren't eating enough fruits and vegetables. So today, please eat more fruits and vegetables. They're highly nutritious. They're plant warfare. They save your life. I can eat all I want. This is absolutely nuts that I'm not eating all these nuts and that's also how I do it. Okay, grocery uh, time and get your questions ready because I can't wait to say hi to you guys. The runner up bill with my poo paper and all is 246 and I forgot coupons, gosh darn it, 246.68. I'm gonna be making brownie batter hummus tomorrow night, an olive oil dinner salad, Greek goddess dressing and sweet potato crisps. And my oven is broken so I'm gonna figure out how to do that. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going to do it. 272. What a good guess. This was 246. So let's take a good look at this pile of groceries with the toilet paper. 246. That it, hold on a second. That is a lot. Do you guys see that? That is a lot of groceries up in here. That is a lot. We don't, there's no more of this left. Thanks a lot. This is how, this is how it's done. Okay. Uh, simple, easy, delicious, and if it's not working, you're doing it wrong, okay? Make your uh, appointment with me, Plantspiration members, and let's get this plant warfare on. Any question, yeah, only the good stuff coming in and coming out. You know what I mean? It's kind of remember back in the day, we'd heard that thing like, didn't your mom tell you if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all? What a concept. What a concept. Um, we should keep it going. How's it? Okay, any questions about menopause? Preventing and reversing disease, uh, grocery shopping, uh, the lifestyle, how we do it, keep it simple. That's right, alcohol harms the brain as well. We don't want to do that. Why would we want to do that? We've got this spectacular engine out here. We sp spend so much time taking care of that engine out there in the driveway, okay? Um, we get an oil change. We get car wash. We get specific about the gasoline that we put in. If we go to a bad gas station and we get a bad tank of gas, we would never go back if our car started running right, like crap. We would never go back to a mechanic if they went and worked on it and it started doing bad stuff. So basically, why would we put bad fuel into this machine? Okay, we only get one of them. And the good news is, is we can actually turn things around. We can change our telomeres. We can t t change our, um, we could change our life. That's what I'm trying to say right here, right here. Hold on. Let's get a drink over here. Oh, Kitty's excited about his toy. Any Amazing questions for you amazing plant-based people. And thank you to all the Plantspiration members for helping me pay it forward in this community. There's nothing like it. And I just had a slew of calls yesterday and continue to hear, there's nothing like this. There's nothing like this. Yeah, I know. Um, because I get it. I've spent a lifetime of dieting. I've spent a lifetime of dieting my entire life from the age of 13. I thought that this was just my life, that it was hereditary, that this was just the way it was going to be. And guess what? 
That's not the way it has to be. That's not the way it has to be. Because, yes, well, because of you, my eyes are open. Thank you. Yeah, it, it was hard to, to hear the truth, read the truth, see the truth. I was upset. Like, why wasn't my doctor telling me this? You know, I don't understand. But what's done is done. Now we know the truth, and the truth is right here. It's, it's in the power of the plants, and it all starts what I bring home from the grocery store. So don't get detoured with any of that vegan junk food to anybody out there, okay? That's not really serving a purpose. That's not going to help you with anything, and it's not going to make you feel awesome. And I want you guys to feel awesome. Every single day, I want you to feel awesome. Um, look forward to hearing what you've learned. Oh, she's, she's incredible, Dr. Funk. I can't wait to see her again. She's, and she's also going to be talking again right now. I'm actually waiting. I'm on notification for Dr. Christy Funk, be hoping that I, I know what the information is going to be, but she's going to be talking about hormone replacement therapy and more about that. I'm waiting for her next post on that, but I will be talking about it also tomorrow night. And I'm pretty sure we read the same literature. We'll be talking about the same thing. So yeah, this is going to be more great news on eating low fat, high fiber, getting that soy in, reducing weight, um, getting to a healthy BMI, which is shown to um, reduce our uh, menopausal sy symptoms because w uh, as we're learning, as I'm teaching you guys, excess estrogen from being overweight, excess estrogen fuels cancer and it can also just make uh, menopause really feel yucky. Oh, I'm so grateful for all your doctors out there that are actually familiar with whole food plant-based and the latest in the prevention and treatment of disease, the latest in nutrition information. Red kale smoothies for me, that sounds amazing. You guys are amazing. You guys are amazing. Um, people on YouTube, when I share this video, they don't have any idea how amazing this group is. But you know who does know amazing before I let you guys go? Let's say hi. Um, when my daughter came home 11 years ago and said she wanted to go vegan, I kind of was like, oh my gosh, that's so stupid. I said, that's so, what are you going to do? Where are you going to get your protein? Um, but because she brought up the animals and her love of animals, you know, it kind of made sense. It kind of made sense. Like, why would I have to hurt anything in order to live my best life? Hey, don't bite me. Why would I have to hurt anything to live my best life? Um, we don't have to do that, you guys. We have a planet on fire. We have billions of animals being slaughtered for no reason. And we have people eating themselves to death. And it, quite frankly, does not have to be that way. So break out of that cultural conditioning. Um, it's not uh, your genes that are causing these problems. It's genetically what you learn to bring home. And I'm going to teach everybody how to get this right. On that note, before my cat attacks me again and we have a catastrophe, I'm going to let you guys go. I want you to eat your plants off. I want you to text somebody that you love, drink some water, and practice that gratitude because I'm so grateful that you guys are here being the inspiration the world needs to see. Thank you so much.